Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. This one's gonna be all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you, about the connection. We'll also take a look at their energies or intentions towards you. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so will not resonate with everyone watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. Messages for Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. Regarding the person they are in a connection with at this time, Spirit. Scorpio. That's just you have for Scorpio regarding the person they are thinking about or dealing with at this time. What is this person thinking or feeling about Scorpio or this connection spirit? Let's see what we have for you, Scorpio. What is this person thinking or feeling about Scorpio at this time? Okay, we got the tower reversed. What else do you have for Scorpio? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Scorpio? Okay, there's just way too many, but I'll take this one, this top one. But the four of wands. And just in in case you guys were interesting, I have Rebirth, which is the Judgment card, and Seven of Pentacles reversed. Someone's making a judgment call here regarding something that was a bad investment or something that took too long to happen, or perhaps someone wants a second chance with you, Scorpio. We'll see. I'm going to clarify those energies up there. Let's get some more information here. Tell me more, Spirit, about how this person is thinking or feeling about Scorpio at this time. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Scorpio at this time. Heal the ouch. Okay, and then I want to just take this one because I wanted to come out slow and steady. Okay, so someone here, um, Scorpio, I feel like they want to heal something that is fractured or broken between you. They want to avoid a tower coming down or perhaps they are just worried that something here will be permanent. Wide open at the bottom of the deck here. very interesting it's almost like your person um what i'm picking up on is they're trying to figure out which opportunity or which path they can choose that will work so i'll put this over here all right so let's get some clarity on these energies before we move on we're also going to be looking at your person's true intentions and what actions they'll take towards you. But for now, I want to get some more insight here into what they're thinking or feeling about you. For Scorpio, please. Insight into what they're thinking or feeling, please, about this connection. Tell me about this tower reverse. Where's the tower reverse for Scorpio? Okay. Seven of Swords. All right. Three of Cups and Six of Wands reverse. Something was not successful for your person. I feel like they play dirty or they didn't really think about their actions. Here with the seven of swords maybe they weren't completely honest with you or were avoiding a situation i don't think they were successful seven of swords this is someone who is um 
again, it's like trying to figure that that right approach or trying to 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 win, trying to overcome something by either it's it's almost like someone's like focused on winning, but instead they just ruin everything with these two, with these two cards. It's like before after. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm seeing. Now, this Three of Cups could be anything. It could be that someone wants to reunite with you, come together with you. Um, it could be there's a third party involved um, or someone else here. Bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords, Reverse. This is all about um, something that's not being communicated, bad communication or outright deception. And with the Seven of Pentacles, I feel like this has been a really long time coming or this has just been ongoing. Someone's having doubts that something will work out. Tell me about this Four of Wands. Four of Wands, uh, usually this is all about home, harmony in the home, domestic bliss, marriage sometimes, uh, some sort of celebration. What's this Four of Wands about? Why is this Four of Wands here? Seven of Cups reverse. Why is this Four of Wands here? Two of Wands reverse. Uh, for some of you, this person stepped outside of your connection and cheated or played around, um, maybe had one other person. For others of you, I'm picking up here that your person just made a mistake because they chose the wrong path, whatever that means. For you, it'll be different for everybody. Tell me about this Four of Wands. Knight of Wands reverse, yeah. Some of you are dealing with a player, someone that couldn't commit or stepped outside of this connection. And now they want to heal the ouch. <laughs> so I just don't know um, how that's going to go down. The star reverse and the six of cups reverse. This person, um, whatever's not healed right now, someone's like stuck to that. Someone is stuck to the past, even though with the star reverse, there's a hopeless situation or there's a lot of healing needed or someone didn't get their wish, etc. Aquarius energy with the star reverse. So let's get some more information about how your person's secretly thinking or feeling about you, Scorpio. Tell me more. Be more scared about how this person is thinking or feeling about Scorpio. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Scorpio spirit. Okay, we got Wolf. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling about Scorpio or this connection. We got Spider. And then this one wanted to come out lying. You know what I'm picking up here? I'm picking up that your person, they're fearless. They are like thinking all this is going to take is work. I just need to put the work in and Scorpio is going to forgive me and everything will go back to the way it was. I am willing to put in the work now. I, I want to do whatever it takes, Scorpio. That's what I'm seeing here. The spider works tirelessly. Then I have the, the lion here. This is someone, again, it's like very um, aloof energy, master kind of energy, very uh, regal. And um, with the lion and the wolf, I feel like this person is like fearless. Like they're they're just going to go for it. Maybe before they weren't this fearless person or perhaps they're pretending to be a wolf to get your attention. Let's see, I'm using my new deck here, the Secret Moon Oracle deck. This will be available soon. I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. All right, let's get into this. Spirit, give me some more insight into what this person is thinking or feeling, please. Give me some more insight into what this person is thinking or feeling, please, about Scorpio. <laughs> I 
I have to laugh because I'm not laughing at this. I'm just laughing at the fact that we're getting the same message. So Scorpio, please forgive me. I'm not, this is not a funny situation, but I just can't believe that the message is so clear. I wasn't honest with you is the first card that comes out here. Okay, what else? Well, that's way too much. Way too many. I miss you was there. What else? What else can you tell me? I'm working on myself. And what's at the bottom? I have a lot on my plate. Okay. Behind that, I wasn't ready. And behind that, I'm confused. Well, I'm confused too, because I'm trying to figure out how working on yourself and you have a lot on your plate, how that's supposed to impress me. Scorpio, this will be completely up to you is what I'm feeling here. I'm feeling like this person, something's not working out for them and now they wanna come back and be honest with you about something now that it's blown up in their face. That's just the energy I'm picking up. Of course, I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments if this is resonating for you and how, but this is what I am picking up so far. Um, let me put this here. So let's get into your person's true intentions. I'm hoping I'm wrong about this person, but I'm not getting my hopes up here. And then here I have the Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords. What is this person's true intentions towards Scorpio Spirit? What is this person's true intentions towards Scorpio? I'm really hoping this person, yeah, their intention is to work on this. That's for sure. I have the Eight of Pentacles. So yes, they are working on themselves or working on something here with the spider. I'm really hoping this wasn't a marriage, but I feel like there's a marriage involved here for some of you with the Four of Wands. And someone might have stepped out of that. Tell me more about this person's true intentions towards Scorpio Spirit. Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person's working on a new beginning with you. They're trying to manifest something and they're coming in hot to do it. King of Pentacles at the bottom. So let's, I'm gonna use a different deck to clarify. I was gonna use that deck, but I changed my mind. Okay, so let's see, let's clarify these energies. Let me clarify these energies for Scorpio, please. Let me clarify these energies. For Scorpio, please. Tell me what I need to see for Scorpio, please. What's this Eight of Pentacles about? What are they working on here? They're working on themselves, they say. They're working on themselves. Maybe because they're the problem? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be so snarky. This is just the energy I'm picking up. Ace of Swords reverse. Okay, so whatever they're working on, it's probably either communication of some sort or they're not gonna tell you the truth even though they're working on something. Tell me what else for the Eight of Pentacles. You know, this slow and steady is also bothering me, Scorpio, because I feel like a lot of you have been more than patient. I don't know how much more slower and steadier this whatever this is i don't know how much more time this person needs anyways i have the hermit card here with um this ace of swords reverse so it could be that this person is not communicating with you or has withdrawn while they work in secret or they work in silence um, they're motivated by the past with the six of cups reverse once again this person you know it's not that they don't care um but I think this person knows it's going to take more than communication for you to fix whatever this ouch 
was. And then I have the lovers, Gemini energy here. It's all about a choice in partner. Again, three people here. Um, if you're dealing with a third party, let me know. I feel like some of you are definitely in some sort of third party situation where someone played around here and either got caught or it didn't work out for them. Bottom of the deck, temperance reverse. Again, this idea of needing more time, more patience. So I feel like your person's working in secret or just trying to really put in a lot of effort here because they want this Ace of Wands. What's this Ace of Wands about? And it's funny too because I don't see action here. Whatever they're working on, I don't see action. I see thinking. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. What's this about? For Scorpio. Five of Cups, okay, because they are regretting the past or they've had some sort of loss. What else can you tell me about this Ace of Wands? Again, with the past, it's like they want a new beginning with the past. Maybe they miss you because I had that I miss you card that wanted to come out earlier. Nine of Swords Reverse, overcoming their fear. So that goes with that newfound courage here. What else can you tell me about the Ace of Wands? It's like they're no longer scared to go after whatever this Ace of Wands is. That's too many. Can I get one more please for this Ace of Wands? Seven of Wands. Yeah, they're coming in to fight, to stand their ground, to have, again, with the courage. Bottom of the deck, tower. Yikes. So maybe, um, I feel like they were trying to avoid a tower, and that didn't work. So now the tower is taking place here. Yeah, this, this is affecting possibly a long-term commitment. Can you get one more for this Ace of Wands? For Scorpio, please. Judgment. So Judgment did want to come out, and I saw it earlier while I was shuffling. They want a second chance. They're evaluating the past. Page of... Pentacles reversed and the Nine of Wands. I feel like they are, um, they're not giving up on this, even though they can't really give you anything. They, they, they're going to fight for this, Scorpio. They're working on themselves so that they can come right into your life again and have a new beginning with you. Um, at least this is their intention. We'll see what their next actions are going to be, but this is their intentions as of right now. What are their true, not their true intentions, what are their next potential actions towards Scorpio, please? What are their next potential actions here? What are their next potential outcome? Wait, no. What are their next potential actions? No wonder that sounded weird. What are their next potential actions towards Scorpio? Thinking about the outcome here. Okay, we got the Nine of Pentacles. What are their next potential potential actions going to be? Once again, I, I'm not getting a lot of action that I see here. King of Pentacles. What? Being free being stable they want to appear like this to you this king of pentacles they want to show you i feel like this might be you or they want to appear like they are available why am i picking that up okay hold on let's clarify this i am more confused than ever i am just as confused as your person help me clarify these energies please for scorpio using this beautiful deck called the Tarot of the Divine. Love it. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. What's this doing here? What is this about? What's this Nine of Pentacles doing here? 
Ace of Swords, wow, okay. So we're gonna get some sort of communication here. Two of coin about a decision or about whatever they're juggling here because in the bottom of the deck we have, I have a lot on my plate. So that's that two of pentacles. Juggling responsibilities. I have all this nine of pentacles. The lovers reverse. Very interesting. I'm getting reversed cards here right underneath. You know, I have the lovers upright in their intention, the lovers reverse in their actions. The ace of swords reversed in their intentions, the ace of swords upright in their actions. So again, I'm getting I'm just picking up this this energy of your person, whatever they intend to do, whatever they plan to do, it kind of blows up in their face. It doesn't go the way they hoped or planned. This is regret over a choice, the lovers reverse. And then I have the seven of swords at the bottom, definitely. This person's approach, the way they do things, gets them into trouble. It just blows up and it, like they just end up making things worse. So yes, working on their, themselves is desperately needed. Behind that, I have the Knight of Coin reverse. And just for giggles, I have the Eight of Cups after that. You know, it's almost like... It's almost like in their actions here, they want to communicate clearly and honestly. But with the Two of Coin and the Lovers Reverse, their choice is whatever choice they decide to make or communicate to you, it's it's the wrong one. It could even be that this communication leads to even more of a disconnect. What is this Ace of Swords about? What's the Ace of Swords about? The Tower Reverse. Yeah, it's like they're just doing whatever they, okay, they're basically they're thinking, I want to avoid this tower at all costs with Scorpio. Which is it? What do I have to work on? What do I have to do? I will tell you what you want to know, Scorpio, because I don't want this tower to fall. <laughs> but I feel like still, there's a decision your person makes here that um, just doesn't work out. Interesting. Tell me about this King of Pentacles. What's this about? Typically, he's in a commitment. For me, as a reader, the King of Pentacles. Very uh, stable, solid, successful. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Oh, my God. We have the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So nothing, again, nothing's working out for your person. And I don't want to be mean because I'm sure there's some cross watchers watching Emperor reverse. Definitely. I don't, I don't mean to be mean. I just, because I'm just telling you what I see, but what I'm seeing is Scorpio's approach, not Scorpio's approach. The person you're dealing with Scorpio, their approach towards you does not work. This is someone that's appearing to be a King of Pentacles, but they're an emperor reverse. They don't have the resources or the ability they don't have control over the situation. This is out of their control here. Aries energy there. We have Gemini here. Sorry, I haven't been saying the signs. I have a, a fire here as well. Virgo. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. The Empress Reverse. So I have an Emperor and an Empress Reverse. This is, sorry, I hit the tripod. This is a, um, for me as a reader, when I have two um, pairs reverse, there's a disconnect. They're not on the same page. They can't see each other or reach each other. They're not working out very well together. Something here, this, this connection, I feel, which I feel has potential, is not really... They're just, the wheel of fortune is reversed. Everything is going wrong. It's not the right time. 
have the four of coin at the bottom. Someone's holding back here and the six of cups reversed again. Six of cups reverse a whole different deck. I think I've had six of cups reverse in all the decks that I used. But um, someone's not over the past, but at the same time, they're holding back. They're not able to give. Let me get one more for this King of Pentacles. And then I want to take this to the extent and figure out what the hell's going on here. <laughs> Tell me about this King of Pentacles. You know, how are you going to heal an ouch when you don't even know what's wrong? That's just what I'm hearing. Hier Hierophant reverse. Taurus energy, broken commitment. Again, everything that could go wrong here. Oh my god, in the bottom of the deck, I have the devil. I cannot make this up. Scorpio, unfortunately, you're dealing with someone that I feel just ties themselves up, restricts themselves through their own actions. 